James Yuhashi, a senior at the University of Oregon who specializes in floor exercise and the vault. And watching him in warm-up, Kurt, he throws a lot of difficulty in there. He really does. He has some very dynamic tumbling. He does a lot of punch moves immediately after landings. In his first pass, he does one that's very risky. Round off back handspring, double full, punch one and three. It's risky because you're going right to your head. He'll get up to two tenths back, back on risk for that. There's his press. It's a front step out, round off, Arabian dive roll, toe touch, punch one and a quarter. There aren't too many people here from the University of Oregon, but they're really appreciating James Yuhashi. This is a very educated crowd, and they know gymnastics. They can appreciate what he's doing. So round off one and a quarter. Round off Rabian one and a quarter. Do a straddle split. So far, the one of the best routines this evening. And a double back just now. That might do it. 21-year-old University of Oregon senior James Yuhaki, who needs better than a 9.80 to overtake the leader, Jim Hartung, in floor exercise. His coach and other teammates in congratulating him know that he might have the championship wrapped up. A two-time All-American, James Yuhaki. Let's take one more look at that opening tumbling pass where he really attacks the event. Well, he has to attack this event because that's an extremely difficult mount. He does a round off, back handspring here, double full. The look out right there, he punches to a one and three quarter somersault. Extremely risky. James Yuhashi, who was the national junior college champion while a sophomore at Long Beach City College, and now is the NCAA floor exercise champion with a 9.90 here in the 1981 gymnastics championships, edging out Jim Hartung of Nebraska, Bart Connor and Ron Gallimore finish in a three-way tie for third place at 9.7. We'll be back here in Lincoln, Nebraska in just...